It's Christmas Eve, it's a wonderful time of year, and it's been a long bloody wait. The job I was offered, I turned down. It was with a bear badge, which was amazing. Small of, smuggle of, I believe. In hindsight, probably should have taken it. I've applied for like 30 different jobs. The job security, honestly, they all know me on a first name basis by now. On the 19th of December, I literally said I want every single job. Not even joking, it's like 50 odd there. And finally, a Christmas miracle. The day before Christmas, Dnepro Mogilov, a very retro Everton-esque badge. In the Belarus first league kits will have to get sorted badges we need to get sorted but we've got a job and the one thing with this which i quite like i think they've got a bit of money a seventy-five thousand pound transfer budget can, compared to uruguay where i didn't have a penny they should pay for my badges the only reason i'm taking the job a wage budget of 7.25 i want you look at the squad and what they're earning we've got bags of money left there as well in terms of the best player at the club in terms of value ivan he's good as a right side of player a bit of pace i like him a 16 year old dimitri knock involve oh <gasps> Oh my days, 16, he's a bit short, he's amazing. Okay, we're taking it, we're going to Belarus. See if they'll give me 500 pounds per week. They will, okay. Percentage of club compensation required for manager around 90%, whatever boys. And there's confirmation, the white blues, Dnepro Mogilov. Sign, Mr. Davis, can we please get a badge? Predicted second, ooh, maybe we've lucked out a bit. You know, Belarusian second division, I'm classing it as lucking out. 4411, we're used to that formation. Number 10 at center back, surely not. Oh, <gasps> number 10. Centre back. I love it, mate. Confidence. Okay, here we go. Is the proof in the pudding? The pudding in the proof. Give me a second series. Give me the coaching course. <gasps> they didn't even like question it. Just immediately they put me on it. Oh, I love this club already. One thing I've not checked, even though I've taken this job, is where we are in the league and where the schedule is. So the league is well underway. Don't be the last game. Hang on, the league's finished. 18th of November. Okay, clean cut. They finished sick. Good. Like a decent season. Only lost seven games out of 30. 43 points. One goes up that's a tough league to get out of and they had two of the top three rate players i like this kid even though he looks like an absolute teenager you can't be bothered good contract for another two years as well nice one krasimir okay we don't start until the 9th of april we've got four months to get this club ready which is good i can go away spend seventy-five thousand pounds get the staff sorted and try and maybe stay here for a few years and build this club up to a powerhouse of belarusian football best potential of course dimitri i really like him jesus christ 16 years old bags of potential we're gonna put a lot of trust into him when Ninsky, 20 years old, bit of potential. Lots of young players with potential. Ilya, oh, he's good as well in the air. Six foot, what are you? Six foot four. Good man. And the first take from this squad, why they struggled, is because they can't get goals. Top goal scorer was six in 33 games from bloody Yuri here. Sorry, mate. You're not a striker, so it's not your fault. And you're a decent player. Crap hacker. So if we can't get goals, we know what to do, don't we? There's only one person to bring in. Big, bad Brian. We've got a £75,000 transfer kitty. Do I spend it all on this man? I can't even. Can I just like <gasps> oh my word what well i've just realized why this is gonna be the hardest save in the world Dnepr and Mogilov are not allowed to sign non-belarusian players one day brian you will be part of my my future but for now holy shit only belarusians and apart from the russian geese who's, who's crept in here this has become a proper challenge i didn't realize there were so many restrictions so i guess we've got to find all the belarusians available to us see who's half decent scout them all and try and get them in to improve the squad but the reality is like i'm not going to find amazing belarusians overnight am i saying that hello Miakish. would you like to come and play for me transfer listed as well like he's better than any center back we've got okay thirty thousand pounds though can i get him in on loan can i do something where like i get him for free i can and he's not going to be a defensive midfielder let's do that oh we're going to do this again all the plays here for nothing okay plan of attack then i'm going to go away for the next four months which is going to take a little while to get through the preseason, bring in the new players and then we'll have a proper look around this club i've already forgotten the name how bad is that dnepro Mol molotov Dine Pro Mogilov. Thanks for tuning in for the new club. Apologies for no gameplay. But next episode, it will all kick off. Catch you soon.